Hi, welcome back. This is Sanjay Kumar Burma from Uni Kaksha. So once again, we are creating another video on Google Cloud Platform. So in this session, we are going to discuss how to create a snapshot of your data disk because we know that using of the snapshot service, we can take the backup of your data disk. In any case, your disk is going to crash and when you have created the snapshot of your data, that means you can convert of your snapshot into disk any point of time and you can attach of your disk with your instance. That means you are able to retain of your data using of the snapshot. So snapshot is very useful utility. So let's get started. So this is my Google dashboard and if I will show you the LSBLK list of the block devices, I have two drives. One is SDA, another is SDB. Inside the SDB, which is mounted with data folder, I have some data, right? This is the data. So I want to take the backup. That means I want to take the snapshot. So a snapshot service you will get inside the compute engine, right? So you can find out, right? So this is the snapshot. Okay. Click over here. Perfect. So now you can see, I don't have any kind of a snapshot. So what to do? We have to click on create a snapshot and you can also define the scheduling, right? You can define the date and time. It will automatically create a snapshot of your data, right? So now we have to click on create a snapshot. Perfect. So define the name of your snapshot. That is snapshot one. You can define the description, which is not mandatory source disk for which disk you are going to create a snapshot. This is my data disk and this is my OS disk. If you want to take the backup of your operating system, you can choose with this. Otherwise you can choose the data disk, right? So I'm interested with data disk, right? So I have selected my disk location. You can create the snapshot of your disk in a same reason and you can make it multi reason, right? So you can move off your snapshot in different, different reason if you want, but uh, I'm creating this snapshot in a same reason. Just a second. This is ACS out. Correct. Define the label like a snapshot one. Perfect. And now what to do? You have to click on create. It's a creating of your snapshot. Please wait. It's under process. It will take some time. Because it's a creating a backup of my entire disk and you know what is the size of my entire disk that is 10 GB, right? So the time always depend on your data size. So I have some normal file. These are text file. So it will be complete as soon as possible. Please do fast. Now you can see my snapshot is ready. The total size is 114 KB, right? The creation type that is manual source type that is data disk and the disk size is 10 GB, right? So my dear friend, any point of time, if you want to retain the data, you have to convert off your snapshot into disk. So now point is that how would you convert off your snapshot into disk? Actually, directly we can't attach off your snapshot with our instance, right? So my dear friend, we have to click on disk. Okay. So we have to create another disk, create disk, right? And now you have to define the name of your disk, like uh, give it a name, snap disk, right? 
this is the snap disk in which region you are going to create of this right this is regional select this one because i am interested with delhi because delhi is nearby me right zone or are you want to replicate of this it's a your choice or not okay by default it will be available in this then now disk source correct so my source is snapshot correct and source snapshot which name is snapshot 1 might be you have multiple snapshot correct and disk type you can choose disk size as per your choice right so 10 gb correct then enable snapshot scheduling no i am not interested with this and now what to do you have to click on create and just a second this disk is going to create inside the ap south 2a perfect and let me click on create please wait disk is under process now my disk is ready correct so let me show you the disk is available inside this one so what to do my dear friend i want to attach this disk with my another instance so what to do let me create a one more instance then i will attach and i am able to access the same data with my another instance so vm instance perfect this is my web one let me click on create instance okay this name is instance name is like this is dev dev one in which reason actually my snap disk inside the mumbai sorry delhi region so we have to select this availability zone right and you have to choose the instance size this is n1 this is sufficient for me right okay if you want to allow the http you can do it otherwise no need correct where is the disk just a second let's choose the operating system now this time i am going to attach with the red hat enterprise linux it distribution version will be 8 select okay and uh, if you want to attach of your additional disk you can do otherwise you can attach later okay you can find out of your disk this is my snap disk okay during the creation of your uh, instance you can attach it otherwise when your instance is ready then you can attach so right now i am going to attach with this disk during the creation click on save right and click on create so friends my dev instance is ready so what to do let me connect this dev instance view gc cloud command right run in cloud shell please wait it's going to provision the cloud shell perfect let me press the enter perfect sudo su hyphen correct now hit the lsbl key so you can see this is my os disk and this is my data disk when i will show you cat at c os hyphen release right so this is the ral 8.4 correct so let me create a mount point mkdir/unikaksha 
right you can mount mount slash dab sdb under the uni kaksha correct df hyphen ht correct so now so let me check now my data is available or not do the ll wow this is the beauty of a snapshot actually my dear friend one more thing you should remember you can't attach of your uh, ebs volume or you can say block storage device multi uh, simultaneously with multiple instances so what to do the best way is that you have to create a snapshot when you want to access same data on different different machine because using of the block storage you can access of your data rapidly you can copy of your snapshot one in one availability zone to another availability zone if you want to copy of your snapshot one reason to another reason you can do it no one will stop you i hope this will be clear so again i am going to conclude of this so using of the snapshot you can take the backup you can retain of your data and you can convert of your snapshot into disk so thank you so much